Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, guys. So today's video, you're obviously wondering why does she not have on makeup? She's got a thing on her head. Her hair is wild for heaven's sakes. Like what is going on? Well, guess what? This is a get ready with me. So not only are we going to do a full face hair the whole nine yards i also have a sponsor for today's video i'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later in the video but let's get started okay so before we get totally started in this video i wanted to show you guys some of the products that i'll be using so first i'm going to take a shower obviously you're not getting in the shower with me we're going to cut that part out <laughs> <laughs> and we will start from after the shower but I wanted to show you guys what I use like to wash my face what products I use on my hair while I'm in the shower and then like what soap I use just because why not anyways but I do have several questions like I get questions all the time about like what's your lipstick color what kind of mascara do you use what kind of products do you use on your hair to make it so shiny like you guys make me feel like a million bucks first of all so thank you so much for all of your compliments like Oh my gracious, it makes me feel amazing. But um, I just wanted to share some of the products that I use since I do get questions quite often about that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you guys what I'm gonna be using in the shower first. And then once I'm out of the shower, like when you see me again, we'll be ready to do like skincare, um, some things that I put in my hair after the shower, and then also my makeup. So let's jump in. Okay, so first of all, what I use for my face. I love, love, love this facial cleanser, you guys. It is by Lacuna and it is amazing. I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my face feel. It is very clean when I'm done. Like a lot of facial cleansers make your skin soft, which is great, that's wonderful. But I want my face to be clean after I'm done. Like I want it squeaky clean. And this stuff right here, absolutely works that way. I love this. I got this at Marshall's, you guys, for like mm, $5.99. Yeah, such a great product though. I love this. I actually started using this probably, mm, I've probably had this four or five months now, you guys, and that's how much I have left. So if that just tells you anything, it goes a long ways and it works fantastic. And I use the little Dollar Tree facial cleanser in order to clean my face and it works fantastic you guys and this one at the dollar tree you can get several different heads for it like they have different heads they have um one where you can give yourself like a pedicure it's like a foot file they have one for your face they have a sponge for your face just very very neat little product for a dollar 25. now the heads are sold separately so you do have to buy that but very, very cool little product for from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, so I use this to wash my face with this. Um, I wash my body with the Caress, just in case you needed to know. <laughs> Today, I'm going to, I'm out of my good shampoo, but I do have some of this Suave Hyaluronic Infusion. Um, I'm going to be using this to wash my hair, but the best part, you guys, is the conditioner. So, I have super, super dry hair. So conditioner is like key in my regimen. You know what I'm saying? Like the conditioner is the most important part of what I do. So I use the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Conditioner. Guys, this conditioner is amazing, amazing. And we're gonna be using the um, leave-in after I get out of the shower. So this is what I'm gonna put in when I get out of the shower, but it goes with the conditioner. But anyway, so that is what I'll be using in the shower. I'm gonna do that real quick and I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. Um, got my hair up in a towel, my face is nice and clean. I'm gonna do my skincare now. I hope that you guys enjoy that part of this. Um, we're also gonna do makeup and hair. And I've also got that sponsor for today's video as well that I'm super excited about. So I cannot wait to share that with y'all. I would like to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Tinsky. So today's sponsor is a hair dryer manufacturer that is three times faster than the traditional dryer. Experience lightning fast drying with Tinsky's high-speed hair dryer, equipped with a state-of-the-art 
RPM brushless motor, twice as fast as traditional hair dryers. Your hair will be dry in as little to three to five minutes. The advanced microprocessor monitors the hair, ensuring never exposed to extreme heat, preventing any damage. Guys, this, this is a nice, nice hair dryer. The temperature stays consistent throughout the entire hair drying experience, and it has a magnetic nozzle with an LCD display screen. This is such a nice blow dryer. You guys just go check this out. I'm going to have a link in the description box. I'm going to actually show you the hair dryer shortly, but just stick with me and let's get back into the video. So I use both of these serums. Lord, I about dropped it in the floor and it's a glass bottle. That was really close. <laughs> Anyways, I got these um, at the Dollar Tree, you guys, and I really like them. As you can tell there, you can see how much of it I have already used. One of them is smooth and lift. It's a little hard to see on camera because it's obviously a clear bottle and the writing is just black. But one of them is smooth and lift and the other one is glowing vitamin c so we've got collagen facial serum that's the smooth and lift and then we've got vitamin c facial serum which is the glowing so um the the smooth and lift i usually put this on before i go to bed at night and then i put the vitamin c on during the day so we're gonna do that but before we do that one of my most I say this in every get ready video with me, and I don't care what kind you use, I don't care what brand it is, but it is just so, so important as you age to use something with glycolic acid in it. So I found these actually at the um, Dollar General store and they were marked down, so I went ahead and grabbed them, but they're by Skin Believe Beauty. Like I said, I got these for like $2.50 a pack. Um, but they are exfoliating pads, an effective daily pad that exfoliates for clearer, smoother looking skin without drying alcohol, infused with glycolic acid and salicylic acid. So glycolic acid is like a liquid exfoliator. Like that's the best way I can explain it. It's just, uh, it's just good for your skin. I use it every single day before I put my makeup on and sometimes at night before I go to bed. Um, I just feel like it really keeps your skin smooth and it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It helps with dullness, like dulling of the skin. You know how your skin starts looking kind of dull and whatever? Well, it works on that. It helps with that. And I like it a lot so put that let that dry just a minute or two i've got a i have a fan you guys i have a little portable fan well guess what the battery's dead are you believing that of all the days i decide to do a get ready with me my little fan is dead <laughs> anyways we're just going we're going to go with it okay we're just going to keep going it does not matter so I'm literally on in front of how many ever people actually see this video with no makeup. So obviously I don't really care today, right? It's okay. It's all good. Okay. Now that that is dry, I'm going to put on some of the glowing vitamin C. And like I said, guys, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Now, mind you, I have not been able to find it again at the Dollar Tree ever since I found it the first time. So that kind of sucks, but it is made by Global Beauty, Glo Global Beauty Care. That's who it's made by. Um, and you can find it on Amazon. So that's kind of cool. So I will probably be purchasing it again on Amazon. But I did initially find it at the Dollar Tree. And they say you're supposed to put all of your skincare and stuff on by pushing upwards. I don't know if it works or not, but I do try my best to do it like that. I don't always, a lot of times I get in a hurry and I just get it on. You know what I mean? But anyways, now I got this in my Ipsy bag. I talk about my Ipsy bag all the time. Every time I do a video like this, I end up talking about the Ipsy bag because something I got or something I use in the video ends up coming from the Ipsy bag. Guys, Ipsy is the way to go. Anyways, so I 
It is called Moon Dew. It's super, super, oh, I got way too much, you guys. Way too much, holy moly. Let me get about half of that off for my other eye. Okay, so anyways, even though I got way too much, this is called Moon Dew, and it is so, so silky smooth. I really do enjoy this one. And I don't use eye cream all the time. Like, I don't use it near as much as I should. Um, I always like to put a little right there. Right in here is my problem area. Do you see that, all the wrinkles? I'm going to squint my forehead. Anyways, um, so that's the eye cream. And it is made by Herbivore. Moon Dew. Made by Herbivore. All right, so I'm going to let that dry for a couple minutes. Like, I actually want that to be good and dry before I put my moisturizer on. And the moisturizer I'm going to be using is um, Mylan goats i don't know how to even say this you guys milan goats i don't know um it is vitamin e face moisturizer so it's a vitamin e facial moisturizer and i really like it um matter of fact y'all know what i'm gonna about to say it came out of my ipsy bag and i really do like it that's why i like the ipsy bag because you can literally try out different products every month you get new products to try out. So I have tried so many different things just by um, doing that Ipsy bag every month. Anyways, all right, so I'm gonna put a little of this moisturizer on. Making sure to get my forehead really, really good because right in here is where I get dry spots. I get dry right here around the edge of my nose and then I also get dry right in here for some reason. So, go down my delicatess. <laughs> I always say it like that, I think. Anyways, all right. So, let me pull this off because that's about to fall. Um, Look how dark my hair is when it's wet, y'all. Ah! Anyways, I was literally like this kind of blonde. You can ask anybody I mean, that like has known me my whole life. I literally had this color hair all the way to my scalp for my entire life up until I was about 20. And then it started growing out dark. After my first son was born, my hair completely changed. <laughs> completely changed. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this moisturizer dry really good before I put my makeup on and then we will start the makeup. So let me get this dry and makeup's next. Okay, so we're done with the skincare. It's time to start the makeup. Um, <clears throat> I like to use a primer. I did have to take a little break. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you all this. I did have to take a little break because I started to get the primer out and I started sweating. I started having a hot flash. I am not even joking. I do it all the time, like all the time. When I'm trying to get ready is the worst time for me for some reason about having hot flashes. Please let me know in the comment section, is anybody else like that? Like, it's awful, y'all. <laughs> you got to sit in front of the fan and then you're like, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, I just want to be able to get my makeup on and it not be such a process. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get started on the makeup. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the primer. Now, I'm almost out of it. I'm embarrassed. All my makeup's dirty. Let me, let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. My makeup is dirty. No, <clears throat> I did not go through and clean it all and make it all perfect for y'all because I'm real. I'm a real person. <laughs> you guys are real people and I know I'm not the only one with a dirty makeup bag, okay? It's not dirty like gross. It's literally just like makeup on it. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyways. So, I like to use this primer. It is a really good primer. Just, I'm almost out of it, you guys. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, it is e.l.f. It's e.l.f. Primer Power Grip. I like this because it really does grab a hold of your makeup and make it last longer. And I really try to focus my primer mainly around my forehead and my eyes. That is where I like my primer to be the most of. You know what I'm saying? because that is where my makeup tends to 
I don't know, move. Y'all know what I mean? Like it just kind of starts to separate or something. I don't know. It could be the foundation. It could be the person putting it on. <laughs> I don't know. But I do like this primer. And it says to let it sit. Um, it says to let it sit for 30 seconds before you put your foundation on. I guess that kind of gives it time to do its thing. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So the foundation that I'm using right now, now I swap up on foundation constantly because I have yet to find a good foundation that I just really, really love. I'm sorry. I just, I'll love it for a little bit. Like I'll think, oh, this is the one, like this one is great. And then something happens and it just starts to not wear the same or look the same or the colors off or I don't know. I'm having a hard time with the foundation situation since I turned 40. So if you guys have any suggestions, please don't forget about that comment section because I may not answer every single comment, but trust me, I read them all. So please leave me some comments on or some um some ideas maybe of different foundations that you've found that have worked for you and you know and your aging skin let me just say it nicely like that so anyways right now i'm using the wet n wild it works okay it looks really good it only wears for a couple hours before i've got to kind of touch it up now the um oh i just went blank uh, uh the milani milani foundation plus primer or concealer or i don't i think it's plus concealer whatever it is it's a really good foundation it's just a really heavy foundation and i would like to find something that's not so heavy and that doesn't wear so heavy you know what i mean anyway so this one here i wear this in the color soft beige and i just put a couple swipes on myself and i got this at five below it's pretty cool five below in their makeup section it's kind of hit or miss, honestly. But have y'all seen, like, I don't know if you can wear too much foundation because if you're young, if you're young, you can do this. But have y'all seen on TikTok, there's this girl, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. I'm not good with all that good stuff. But uh, she puts the foundation in her hand and then she puts a uh, powder on top of it and rubs it together and puts the foundation on with her hands. And in the end, when she is done, she looks like a porcelain doll, okay? Like, her skin looks flawless. Do you hear me? Flawless. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyways, so, yeah, I don't know if you can wear too much foundation. I just know that I like full, full coverage because of the sunspots and the just discoloration that I have in my skin. I definitely like a full coverage foundation. Kind of draw it down my neck a little, just a little bit. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys, my allergies, my allergies are so bad right now. They're, they're terrible. The cotton is actually blooming where I live. So it's it's awful <laughs> at the moment. In my Ipsy bag as well, it's called Shayna B. Shayna B Miami. I don't know. I like it though. I'm almost out of it. Oh my gracious. It's time for a, like a makeup overhaul. Do y'all do that too? Run out of everything at the same dead blame time? I went up kind of high with my contour didn't i i don't know it'll be all right it'll be all right we'll make it work now i have never claimed to be a uh beauty person okay like beauty vlogger makeup vlogger i just like to do this and talk to y'all i just like to hang out while i'm doing this and i figure i'll tell you about the products while i do it so as far as like the contour and where i put it and how i put it on and all those great things i have no idea what i'm doing do you understand not a clue what i'm doing <laughs> i just kind of do and then hope that it turns into something at the end you know what i mean so please don't ever be like, oh my gosh, she said to do this and you're actually supposed to do, please guys, I'm, I'm not claiming to be 
a beauty vlogger. <laughs> I'm just a DIY YouTuber that enjoys talking to her community, okay? Hanging out with her community. So, these are the funnest videos to do in order to be able to hang out. And actually, I thought about doing it live. <sighs> oh, that's a little scary. No makeup, trying to do makeup, dogs, the whole nine yards, and live. I don't know. I was just worried about trying to do it that way. So, anyways, we're going to do it like this. I can't find my, my beauty blender now. So, anyways, hang on a second. <laughs> Got my sweet tea. All right. Now, I just blend that back in. <clears throat> like, I used the beauty blender that I had just used to put the foundation on with. I just go straight in with it. And I pull my, my contour on over kind of like blush because I like the, the color it is. And I like to put a little on my forehead because it gives your forehead a little bit of depth and dimension. I guess that's what you're doing. I mean, I kind of paint like this. Does that make sense, you guys? When I'm painting, I'm more or less doing the same thing. So... I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. Um, but, I just do what I think looks best on myself, you know? So, go for it. Do, do it up. Have, enjoy doing your makeup. Enjoy fixing yourself up. Take pride in that. I don't know. I do. I, I enjoy putting my face on and getting myself ready and getting my day, myself ready for the day. I feel very productive when I've gotten up and done my face and stuff and put my shoes on and, you know, stuff like that. There's like little hacks to do when you are ADD and that one of the biggest ones is to put your shoes on. That's not a lie. It just, for some reason, like gets you to focus. It get it. I don't know why you guys, but it works. <laughs> Let me just say that. All right, so that was the contour. Now I'm going to go straight in with the blush. This blush, oh, I didn't blend that out on my neck very good, did I? Wait a minute. Mm, we might have to reassess that at the end. Anyways, let me put a little blush on here. And I'm almost out of this as well. And I really like this stuff. And yes, I put a lot on <clears throat> because it it like blends in so well. It kind of takes quite a bit to put on, but it, that's it's not as much as what you think. Wait just a minute, and you'll see. Um, this is Vision Flush, and it is made by guys. I can't even read the thing anymore on it. Vanessa Myrick's Beauty. That's what it says. I don't know. Now. For this one, instead of using the Beauty Blender, sometimes I'll go in with this little brush. I like the way that it blends it out. But then I'll touch it up at the end with the Beauty Blender. And that way, the excess of that uh, product is more so on the... See, how I... See what I'm saying about that blush? How it blends in so good, like it does take quite a bit not a dark blush. It's a very naturally looking sun-kissed blush. And I like it a lot. Now, now the jaw doesn't look so uneven. And once we get some lipstick on, like, let's just hang with me, guys. Hang with me. All right. So, let me show you guys my lip duo. I've been asked about that several times. And I'm excited to say that I got the liner at the Dollar Tree. And I bought like four of them because this is such a good lip liner. It lasts all day long. It doesn't matter if I'm drinking, eating. It doesn't matter. Like this lip liner will stay on. Like you have to watch it because sometimes I will have no lipstick and the liner will just still be there. I swear. So anyways, it's made by Ioni Lip Pencil in the color Napa Wine. I hope that, that that you guys can see that. Ioni. Let me show you the box. Hang on. I got one still in the box. I'll show you all that. Hang on one second. Okay. 
Um, first of all, got my box at the Dollar Tree. And I've also got everything in this came from the Dollar Tree. The lashes, these are so cute. Check them out. Very natural looking. I like these. Um, these, have you guys seen these yet at the Dollar Tree? Yeah, these are nice. These are like 12 bucks on Amazon. I am dead serious. <laughs> and you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Oh my gracious. Anyways, those are nice. But this is what the lip pencil looks like. Anyways, very cool. It's such a nice lip liner. I'm just going to open a new one here so I can have that fresh tip. Ooh, yes. All right. So let's just do a little lip. I like to go on the outside edge. See where my lip is? I like to go on that outside edge. the lipstick i am using the 24 hour color stay by revlon in the color oh lord have mercy you guys it's number 115 i i can't read mm -mm -mm. i can't read it i honestly can't anyways it's number 115 there's no way y'all can see it either but it's number 115. All right. And this stuff really, it stays now. It's not, it's not, it doesn't stay as well as the liner does, but now it's pretty good. I'll have to say. I'm going to give that a second to dry and it comes with like a gloss to put on afterwards, but I like to use my own gloss and I use this. I get this at five below or the dollar general store, either one. And this is a uh, LA colors plump up and it is in the color turn heads. Now, before I do my eyeshadow, I want to go ahead and put on a little bit of concealer. Now, usually you would put your concealer on when you're doing like your contour and all that stuff. But guys, I have found that if I wait until everything is done, like uh, um, the bronzing or not the bronzing, the contouring and the blush and like all that stuff. It seems to stay where I want it to a lot better. And it kind of sits on top of it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. You guys will see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But it just works better for me. So this is just the way that I do. I personally do it. I like to put everything on. I don't typically go ahead and do my lips. I just went ahead and did them because I wanted my lips to be on. Anyways. Um, but that is what I would have done. I would have actually waited and done this after I had my blush and everything on because I want it to pop. I want that, that contour to pop because I'm going to put some highlight over the top of it and all that. But I do like to let it kind of sit for a minute before I go in with the beauty blender. And I will have to go back over with a little bit of powder and whatever, you know, here in a minute. But. Okay. 
I like to put this little spot of concealer on and I will really like blend it out here in just a second. You don't really want it to show up that much, but you just want to have that little high point right there above your eyelid or like on your eyebrow bone right there. Um, it pulls your face up, pulls everything upwards. And you just really blend it in really well. But it makes such a difference. So for the eyeshadow, I'm using the eyeshadow palette. This is all like, it's all gone. Can't even hardly see it anymore. It's the LA Colors Socialite. And I really like it. It's got a bunch of really pretty colors in it. I love it. It's got the golds and the yellows and the oranges and then the pinks. I really, really like this um, palette. And I got it at five below. So I'm just going to go in with this one right here. Put a little of that dull color on it as well. I like to kind of dull down some of the shiny ones. Like I like that color, but I don't want it that shiny. My brush just broke. And I'm just going to go in the corner. And work my way around in that corner. I kind of pat it on more than a um, like brush. Does that make sense? <laughs> because it, I don't want any to fall. I don't want it falling everywhere. A lot of people use those, um, those little things you can put under your eye. And I have some, y'all, but I don't know where they're at. I literally have two boxes of them. And I have no idea what I've done with them. Can't find them. That's bad. Anyways... So I'm just doing the best I can and trying not to get too much of that like over, over spray. <laughs> I'm going to take my other bra end and we're just going to go on this yellowy looking one. It's like a yellowy kind of gold yellow color. I really like it a lot. And I'm going to go right in my corner and then work my way up and stop. I'm going to get a little more. Go in my corner and work my way up. Just about right there. Now, I'm going to take my brush, wipe it off on a towel, and then go back and blend it in. Because I don't want it to be so much of that sparkly color that it ends up making my, my brownish red that I put on real sparkly. So I just wipe my brush off and go on, you know, keep on trucking. I could use a different brush and, you know, use a, like you have one in particular that I use only for blending it out. But um, I find that this way works just as well. And so that's what I do. And I usually start at the corner and pull, like kind of pull a little bit of that sparkly in. And just blend, 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 blend. And I don't really worry about the corner of my eye because I'll go back and fix that here in just a second. Okay. Now, since I did get a little in my corners, um, and I want that, I want that spot of concealer to be there. I'm just gonna pop a little more on. <coughs> And clean that up. Look, it cleans it right up. I'm going to take that same brush, take my end here, and just kind of soften that up a little bit. I don't want it as noticeable. Just kind of soften it up a little, just a hair. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to go in with the LA Colors Auto Eyeliner in blue. It is Lovely Lavender, actually. It's not blue. It's Lovely Lavender. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. 
Okay. I can't do the top like in the thing, so I'm gonna go over here in the mirror for a second. Oh gracious, you guys, we gotta do my eyebrows. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline um, Tattoo Studio Eyebrow Gel. I really like this. I just get some out and put a little dab on my hand. I like to use the back of my hand. So I put it on the back of my hand and then I have a brush, very small, teeny tiny little brush. It has just a little bit of a edge to it, to a, a point to it on the side. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on my brush and I'm gonna go in and mark both of my eyebrows. So I'm gonna do that in the mirror cause I don't think I can do it in this camera too easily. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. I'll just turn towards the mirror so that you guys can see what I'm doing. No, I can't do that because the light will blind you. Okay, maybe y'all were able to see that. I don't know. <laughs> I won't know until I go back and watch the video. Like when I go back and edit this, I'll be able to see if you guys were able to see me or not. Anyways, so, so how have things been going? I would love to know how you guys are doing, how, what everybody's up to. What are your plans for fall? What? What does your family do like as a tradition in during fall time? Do you have a certain tradition or, you know, something like that? Just draw my little line out. Okay. Now, last but not least, mascara. So I have got <laughs> this, this poor mascara. Um, you guys, it just says HD Black on it. It is by RMS Beauty. HD Black. It is by RMS Beauty. And I don't really like worry about, I mean, I try not to get it on my lid, you know, so much like when I'm doing that or like under my eyes or whatever, but I don't worry about it just too terribly much because I'm going to take a Q-tip and go back and clean all of that up like at the end. And I always do that. Can you guys see straight up my nostrils? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gracious. These videos are so much fun. I swear they are. I love making these videos. Guys, I have been so busy. Oh my goodness. We've got so much going on. We always do. Uh, I've got so many things I want to do to the house and like around the house and then I'm trying to get all my DIYs, keep those out for you guys. Um, and then I've also like a friend of mine is having her baby's first birthday. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is the cutest baby you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> first of all, I love her so, so much. Her name is Tinsley Joe. How cute is that? I know, right? Anyways, um, but her mom, we're doing, her mother asked me to help decorate the, like for the first birthday and it's going to be like spooky baby. Okay. If you can imagine like not spooky, like scary, like, um, little baby ghosts and little baby. It's just going to be so cute. If she will let me show you guys some pictures of it after it's done, I will definitely be like including those in one of my videos because I just know it's going to turn out so darling. But anyway, so I've been working on some projects for her, doing some stuff like that. And then um, also, you know, of course, I work at the flower shop Tuesday through Thursday. And then also I'm working at the at my father-in-law's fish market on Friday and Saturday. So I literally have Sunday and Monday. That's it. Uh, to work on any YouTube related type stuff. So anyways, but we make it work. It's all good. I get to make videos like this, for heaven's sakes. This is on a Monday. And I've got to go with Jordan to the dentist. That's what I'm actually getting ready for. I got to take him to the dentist. 
All right, now I've got my mascara on. I, I'm probably gonna put a little bit more mascara on later, but be, I forgot about having to blow dry my hair and I don't really typically like to put my mascara on before I blow dry my hair um, because it sometimes gets in my mascara. You know what I mean? Anyways, but we're gonna, we're gonna make this work today. Um, let me show you guys what I've been waiting to show y'all this entire video. Check out today's sponsor, Tinsky Hair Dryers. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. Check out this hair dryer. This is so stinking cool. Dun, 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 dun. It is the Tinsky Sky M200. This is so stinking cool. It looks like a, um, it almost looks like a, one of those, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Dan, um, oh, you guys, what is the name of those hair dryers? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, it looks like one of those, but it is not, and the price tag is much cheaper. So, very, very, very cool. Let's check this hair dryer out. Okay, so it comes with this cute little velvet bag very nice to keep it in. We've also got a little operation instructions manual here. And look at how nice this hair dryer looks. Guys, this thing is awesome. Like it blows so stinking hard. I've already used it once. I put it back in the um, packaging so that you guys could see exactly how it came packaged and just how like nice it is and how well made. Yes, that is a magnet. It is magnetic. But anyways, it is just so, so stinking neat. I want to get it. I want to turn it on and do all that, but I don't know how I'm going to do that and show you guys all the little functions and whatever with it running. So let me just show y'all first. You've got um, medium and high. You've got your temperature. You push that for like hotter air. Oh, it has a 24 month activate activate warranty, Tinsky. Um, but guys, look at how nice this sucker is. And it's heavy. Like it's it's not heavy, but it's like well made. It doesn't feel like just cheap plastic. So yeah. Let me get this thing put together and out of the box. And let's just I'll show y'all how awesome it is. <laughs> Okay, you guys, check this out. Look at how nice this is. Oh my gracious, y'all. This is such a nice, this is the nicest hair dryer I've ever had. I'm just saying. But check this out. It's magnetic. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to blow dry my hair now. So the first thing we need to do is get it out of this. And I'm going to put in my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In. I really like this stuff. This makes your hair so soft. So I'm just going to put this in all over my head. Like, I like the um, generic brand. And it is, that's literally the name of it, generic. Uh, that's the brand. And it is called the 10 in one. It's just like it's a 10. That stuff works fantastic, you guys. Um, but I'm out of it right this minute, unfortunately. I need to get to Sally's. That's the only place I can find it. There, and you can get it on Amazon, but it's a little more expensive on Amazon than it is in like in the store in Sally's. So, anyways, this is my Olaplex oil. That's all I've got right now to put in my hair as a product because I'm out of, like I said, the It's a 10. So I'm going to use this um, Olaplex oil. I like to focus a lot of the product on, obviously, on my ends, the ends of my hair, but also around my face because... Um, that's where I tend to get the frizziest for some reason is around my face. Like, I guess it's just because that hair is so much thinner and, you know, I guess can frizz up easier. All right, here we go. Huh, 
It's not that loud. It turned green back here. That's high. That's medium. High. Oh, orange. Red. So we've got green. No, that's yellow. Okay, so we've got green. Orange. You can't really see the orange as well. And then there's red. Like the colors. And it just, the... I'm gonna take my round brush and finish out my hair. So let me finish up with my hair and I will see you guys in just a minute. <laughs> you say that I'm psychotic, but then you like it like that. It's like every time the conversation changes and I want you right back, right back. You say that I'm hypnotic. I always have a good time doing these videos with you guys. Um, don't forget, I am not a hairdresser, nor am I a makeup tutorial person. So <laughs> just know that this was just time for us to hang out and have a good time. I wasn't trying to be a professional. Um, so take my, take my advice with a grain of salt. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Guys, don't forget, go check out Tinsky Hair Dryers. Very cool product, I will have to say. Like, definitely has some power behind it. Um, just a really neat, neat product. All right, thank you so much for being with me today. Truly thank you. And you guys have a blessed day.